Hello folks, I'd just like to uh, show you around my Bessica E444. We've had it for just over four years. We bought it as an ex-demo model, it had just over 600 miles on it. Uh, we bought it from a local dealer. It's been his first adventure with a motorhome and we've had some really fantastic uh, adventures in it. But uh, it's time for us to upgrade a little bit now. Uh, we've got grandkids and it can be a bit uh, awkward making beds up etc uh, when grandkids and especially within a French lounge with television etc so uh, we've decided it's time to move on and we're going to buy a shoe on 757 uh, which is special edition which hopefully we pick up in March stroke April but I'll give you a quick tour around of it it's been a wonderful mo first motorhome for us the layout was the thing that sold it to us originally. We've got like two lounges, which is the front lounge and the rear lounge, but it's not a rear, full rear lounge. It's a one-sided U-shaped lounge, which makes it into a, like a French bed. Uh, once you get used to making it up, it's not too bad. We do have a, a foam topper on top just to take up the lumps and bumps. It's not very often we actually make up the front bed, but I will show you how it looks like with the beds not made up and also with the beds made up and how to make the beds up because a lot of people not sure how to put the cushions etc which took us a bit of time to uh, learn how to do but I think I think we've got it right but uh, it may help some people uh, who don't know how to do it and who've got this model whether they're doing it right or wrong anyway uh, that's it for now so I'll get set up and uh, we'll uh, show you through the motorhome what he's got and also how it is with the bed made up. Right, here I am uh, sat in the passenger seat and looking down the motorhome. As you can see, it's quite open and airy. Uh, there's the two fixed travel seats and the fixed table. Here's looking towards the front. You've got your two captain swivel captain seats. You've got a little bench seat there, your fixed table. We've got quite a good storage locker above the driver's cab and we've got uh, four cupboards over the lounge area which is quite uh, good for storing eggs. Plenty of, we can store plenty of things in there so that's, uh, that's that all set up. Here we have uh, the kitchen area. This has got the two cupboards and a microwave up above. Uh, small sink and hob with uh, electric ring and four gas rings. The combination oven and grill below, small cupboard below that and the Dometic uh, fridge freezer. Got a small freezer compartment inside it. And we swoop across and then we've got a small cupboard on the entrance. There's the, some electric footsteps etc. I put a TV on there and also we've got a cupboard above that we store TV and etc and DVDs etc while we're out and about. Above the uh, entrance door we've got uh, the Truma heating control and also the controls for the uh, power water pump lighting etc, leisure battery controls etc. I've got heating on today because it's uh, quite chilly in the storage yard at the moment. But uh, we don't have many issues with that. Fire blanket, normal safety things, smoke alarm, CO2. We've also got a little 
fire extinguisher down by the door just in case we have to get any emergencies internal or external so we can get out quick. Here we have the uh, little rear U-shaped lounge which can be quite handy at times uh, but if there's only two of us we normally just leave this made up and uh, into like the French bed with the memory foam topper on top so whenever we travel around we've just got the bed made up already that's why I've decided really to go for a fixed bed so I'll show you that made up a bit later on once I've shown you around the rest of the motorhome Right, I've also quite, got quite a roomy wardrobe which stores quite a bit of things inside it You've got some shelvings in the corner Plenty of hanging space for long clothes So if you do go out for it, you've got plenty of room for your dresses uh, There's a bit of storage below, forks, hoovers, shoes etc And you've got the status uh, aerial that we extend up to get the TV signal in the wardrobe. Up above we've got uh, a largest cupboard and two cupboards to the side. Little reading lights underneath. Three reading lights. We shall now go into the uh, rear bathroom. So we've got, this is where we actually store us. I always take a water hog and a waste hog. So he's moving the motor home around because he's got a 12 volt little plug on side at uh, fresh water tank filler so uh, I use a little water pump to uh, fill the fresh water up. Saves all that de-rigging and moving the motor home around. So there we have the uh, Thetford toilet, a small sink cupboard underneath, mirror, vanity sort of cupboard for all your deodorants and your shower gels etc and then we've got the separate uh, shower the two drain holes the wonderful two drain holes but they're both on one side so if you are a bit lopsided one way it's done it still puddles in one corner uh, bifold shower door and I bought myself an eco camel uh, shower head just to make the words does make a difference but uh, better than the original one that was on. So there you are, that's the end sh bath bathroom. Here we have the view down from the uh, shower room right to the front. So as you can see it's uh, quite a roomy motorhome. So they'll be very reluctant to get rid of it, that's why we want a motorhome with a rear bathroom as well. That's why I've gone for the shoe on with the two single beds. Right, uh, now I've shown you around the mold home, I'll uh, show you how we make the, the rear bed. I'll not put on the mattress stopper etc, but uh, I'll give you a rough idea how it all goes together. And if you're not sure whether we're doing it right, I'm not sure. You may have a better way of doing it, but it's not exactly clear in any of the instructions given out by Swift, Swift Bessica. But uh, this is how we do it, and it makes up a fairly decent bed. Uh, like you say, with the foam mattress topper, memory foam topper on it, it does make a comfortable bed. Uh, right, I shall just show you how to do it. Right, here's a plan view of the uh, made up bed at uh, the back. And like you say, with the memory top of foam topper on, it makes a lovely, comfortable bed. The only trouble with the French bed is you have to clamber over your partner to get out when you want to go for a Jimmy Riddle in the night. But it's one of those things that has to be done, especially when you get to the older age group. All back to uh, 
travel mode. The uh, tabletop sits in the recess there and it's held on by a clamp up here and a locking device down bottom so it don't fall out when it's in transit. Right, I'll uh, try and show you how the front bed gets made up, but that is a, not the easiest one to do. Uh, we don't use it that often, but it's only if grandkids stop, we usually use one side. So I'll show you what we do with grandkids, uh, maybe until they get a bit older, but we'll have the new motor on by then. Right, I'll show you how it's set up. Right, so here's the plan view of what I think it should look like. As you say, it's got no instructions or anything of how the actual uh, bed goes. We have them funny wedge ones there, which I think go into that position there. But that's the only way I can, because it's just about fit in there. No other way of showing it. Uh, right, so I'll dismantle that and we'll go back to a normal motor home again. Right, I just thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's uh, it's a bit of a different motor home, isn't it? But uh, we still really like it, the layout and etc. But like you say, it needs must and we need to upgrade. But uh, hope you've enjoyed watching this. I'm hoping to make more uh, videos in the future. So if you like it, click the thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me the th thumbs down. But tell me why, so I can learn a bit about uh, doing a bit of e-blogging. Uh, once I get my new auto home I might upload a few things but it won't have any commentaries on it etc because I'm not used to doing this type of thing it's the first time I've done it so hopefully in the future I can start doing a few more blogs and uh, I'll get a few subscribers so hopefully thanks for watching anyway uh, bye for now I'll leave it at storage yard and roll on another couple of weeks time when we go away in it for a few days